What is going on, Nation? What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's get some folks up in here. What's going on? What's going on, Cameron? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? So we're going to try this vertical live and see how this does. Because for some reason, it was telling me orientation locked. And I don't know if I can change the orientation of it now that I'm live. But what's going on, everybody? What's up? We are setting sail on the Sun Princess right now. And I really don't like this orientation. I really would rather have it the other way. But anyway, this will work. Y'all can see the beautiful Mediterranean behind me. We are setting sail out of Italy at the, the very second. We just pushed off the dock. The thrusters kicked in. And we are officially underway on this nine-day beautiful cruise on board the brand-new Sun Princess. Let me tell you, first impressions of this ship is absolutely wonderful. It is a marvelous ship, complete game changer for Princess Cruise Lines and the future of Princess Cruises. Let me tell you that first off. Second off, the best pizza you could ever get on a Princess ship is the Princess Pizza. So if you've never cruised Princess, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you have cruised Princess, you already know that Princess Pizza is phenomenal, so that's what I had for lunch. Larry Thomas in the chat, have a great cruise, Mike. You know what, Larry, you have a great cruise, and I will see you on the decks because you're on the ship with me. So Cameron's in the chat, Kelly's in the chat, Tess, Scott, wish you were here, wish every one of you were here. But y'all, just look at that view. It's a little chilly, I'm not going to lie. It's about 60 degrees right now, and... Uh, I decided that I was going to wear shorts and a t-shirt every day. And I'm okay with that, right? Like, I like shorts and a t-shirt. It's a little nipply. It's a little chilly. Chuck, I was supposed to go get a hoodie, but I'm looking down at him now, and he's currently not wearing a hoodie. So I know he's a little cold, but I'm just blown away with this ship. So let's talk about this Deck 8, right? And this is why I wanted to go live back here on Deck 8. Right here... They have two hot tubs. This is called the Wakeview area. And within those two hot tubs, they have an infinity pool. Now, y'all know infinity pools just look like an endless pool. Well, what's great about this infinity pool is it's double glass. So you have glass on the inside wall, glass on the outside wall. So bring your snorkel gear, bring your scuba mask, bring some goggles, and you can get some epic shots through that infinity pool. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all already know I've been on every single one of the XL class ships with Carnival, and I love me a good Carnival cruise, but what Princess has done with these balcony rooms is absolutely insane. I have so much space inside my cabin that on the XL class ships like the Mardi Gras, the Jubilee, the Celebration, the cabin feels small. You feel confined to this small cabin. On this ship, that cabin is not small. I've already filmed the room tour. I'm going to be putting a short out of the room tour. The power supplies that they put throughout this cabin are absolutely mind-blowing. I have never seen so many power outlets in one cabin that just aren't European. We're talking American outlets. We're talking six, five or six 110-watt U.S. outlets within this cabin two of them right by the bed. So on each side of the bed, you have two 110 plugs, you have USB regular and USB-C as well next to those beds. Each side of the bed has night lights that go into the wall. The end tables are actually end tables. They're not little metal trays that clip into the wall. They are big night side, nightstand bedside tables. 
So CPAP machines fit on them perfect. The power outlet for your CPAP machine is there. You don't have to bring no converter to convert the power. You don't have to bring a converter to convert the power on your cell phones. Nothing of that needs to happen because there's so much US-based power in these cabins. Now, again, I'm in a balcony. I'm not in an inside, so I can't speak for the inside, but I'm gonna get some research done. I'm gonna find some things out. I know a few folks that are on the ship. I know a few folks that are in ocean views, insides, balconies, and suites. So we're gonna try and get a few things figured out. Rudy's, I got reservations for Rudy's, the catch by Rudy. I got reservations for Butcher's Block. I also have reservations for Spellbound. So. Princess has comped me the Spellbound Reservations that is not tomorrow, the next day at six o'clock. So look for a video on Spellbound to come out. Now Spellbound is something brand new to the Princess fleet. It is hosted by the Magic Castle out in Hollywood. So it is absolutely 100% a brand new thing that is just now rolling out. The dome is officially open. So dome shows will be happening on this voyage. And there's a bunch of other things that I wanna check out and I wanna see. Now, the one thing that I'm so looking forward to is just being able to sail somewhere new. Every single one of these ports for me is a brand new port. I have never been to these ports before. So every port that I'll be going to over the next few days will be 100% brand new ports. Carfu, Bar. We were supposed to go to um, Qatar Montenegro, but that was canceled and we, it was replaced with Bar Montenegro. So we are now going to Bar instead of Qatar. And then a couple stops in Greece, coming back to Italy, hitting Italy again, and then hopping on a plane to Barcelona. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait to see everybody, the rest of the group in Barcelona, but I want these nine days to go by super, super slow, so that way I can get y'all as much content on this beautiful ship as possible. Now, we're talking 19, 20 decks worth of ship. We're talking slides that are brand new to Princess. We're talking Park 19, which is brand new to Princess. These are all things that are, gonna that are going to attract the family fun atmosphere. The people, the parents, the grandparents that wanna bring their kids and their grandkids on the ships. Princess is moving in a new direction with this ship. This is the first of its kind. The second one comes out next year. So the Star Princess comes out in 2025 which I'm not saying I am going to be on it, but I'm saying I'm most likely gonna be on it. And like Larry just said, it really smells new. You can walk through the hallway and get that new car smell, right? It's not like it's a bad chemical smell or anything like that. You can get that new car smell. If you bought a new car, you know what I'm talking about. If you get your house freshly painted, you know what I'm talking about. It all smells good. It smells clean, it smells fresh, it smells new, just like it rolled out of the the shipyard this morning. So it's absolutely gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, I, one, one other thing I do like. I like the fact that I don't gotta go give you my room card for a pool towel. I can just go get one from random spots on the ship. We're talking a, a towel hut right here, right there. That little bin that you see with blue towels in it right there, that's a towel hut. You don't need to sign out a towel. You don't need to worry about returning the towel. Drop it anywhere, do whatever. There's things that you don't have to worry about. So if you've cruised Carnival, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know you gotta go to the towel hut to exchange for a towel. You don't have to do that here. But this wake view area, this is one epic area on the ship. It's on deck eight aft. Come up to deck nine where I'm at. You got Rudy's, you got Butcher Block, and then you can sit here, hang out, watch the ship sail away, throw up alive, chit chat with a few friends, and just have a good time. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button, all right? I see we got 72 people up in here watching. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button. If you ain't subscribed, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on so that way you can get notified anytime I go live, which will be multiple times in the next nine days. So I'm gonna do a few walk and talk lives. Um, I'll probably go live a few times, pop a few different decks in, a few different areas, few common areas that people wanna see a lot. When the casino's closed, on a port day, I'll definitely do that as well. What? You gotta press the triple dots. Oh yeah, 
So Chuck said, if you want to hit the live button, which I appreciate, press the triple dots in the top right corner of your screen, and then you'll be able to smash that like button. But this is it. So day one is underway, embarkation day. And let me tell you something. If you've never sailed out of this cruise port here in Italy, and you're a smoker, they got you here. They got you here. You don't have to worry about going back outside and going back through security. They have a big outdoor smoking section. They have a big bar for you to sit at. They have food, they got drinks, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, anything you could possibly think of with inside the terminal here in Civita Vecchia. So if you're cruising out of here anytime soon and you're looking for things like that, you have those things here. Now I will, I will tell you this, I didn't bring myself here. I got a shuttle, absolutely worth it. Driver picked us up 8.45 this morning. We were at the port within an hour and 20 minutes and we made multiple pickups along the way. So to get here, super simple, super easy. I think it cost us less than 80 euro um, to get picked up and brought to the cruise terminal. And uh, they picked us up right from the hotel. So that was a good thing. And then we boarded the ship with ease, no issues there. Um, cabin was ready as soon as we got on the ship luggage came within a half hour lunch was good and now i just waited to sail away so we can go live so if you got any questions about the ship do me a favor drop them in the comments so that way i can come back to it i can look back over it and i can get those questions answered if there's a specific thing you want to see on this ship put that in the comment section so i can get that covered as well I've already started part of the ship tour because it's a little hard to get the kids clubs once you're underway. So kids clubs are already done. I know there's a lot of people excited to see the kids clubs. I know there's a lot of people excited to see Park 19, the dome, the sphere, all of that stuff. So there's going to be a lot coming and it's going to be coming fast. This is going to be the fastest content that I put out. Embarkation day will probably go live tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll go live the next day and then so on and so forth. So I'm gonna pump this content out fast. I'm gonna show y'all everything the Sun Princess has to offer. And we officially reached the end of the dock and we are almost out to open water. There it is, right there. Boom, the end of the dock. So this has been epic so far. I, for those of you who have been following along with the whole adventure from start to finish and are wondering if I got my cheese, I did get my cheese. I got enough cheese to, to take home. Not enough to share, but I got enough cheese to take home. So I'm happy with that. If I don't get any more, I'll be okay. It'll last me a little while. Um, and then I can make some cacio e pepe and all of that good stuff, some carbonara, and I can make it at home with the cheese I brought back from Italy. Now, dinner tonight, we're gonna to go to O'Malley's. O'Malley's Irish Pub is open for dinner from 5.30 to 11, I believe. And then they have live music after that. And the bar remains open. So dinner is from 5.30 to 11. Don't quote me on the closing time. It's between 5.30 and 12. So no later than midnight, and I'm gonna say no earlier than 11. So anywhere between 5.30 and 12. I'm pretty sure it's 11. Could be 11.30, but uh, that's where we're gonna go tonight. This is the second ship, I believe, within the Princess Fleet that has a standalone O'Malley's. Usually you have O'Malley's on a sea day once per cruise, and it's usually at the Wheelhouse Bar, um, and it's just called Irish Pub, O'Malley's Irish Pub Lunch. Um, but this is one of the, the few ships that has a full O'Malley's Irish Pub in it. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. I'm definitely gonna hit up the fish and chips. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I got some wash I gotta throw in. I got some things I gotta do. I wanna get this content all transferred over and start working on videos to get that put out for y'all. But uh, I don't wanna keep talking. I want y'all to look at this beautiful view. Like, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And if you can see that ship right over there, it's got Sylvester and Tweety Bird on it. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's a fire paint job. Sylvester and Tweety Bird. I taught, I saw a putty tat. But this is it. This is the cruise port in Rome, Chivi Tavecchia. If you're staying in Rome city center, it takes about an hour and 10 minutes to get to this cruise terminal. If you're staying here in Chivi Tavecchia, then you don't got to worry about that. You're here. But either 
from. It's gonna take you about an hour and 10 minutes to get here from the city center. Super easy, super simple, straight to the point. If you wanna, if you wanna go live, I can just transfer it. <laughs> we, we got people trying to hop into the live, so. But that's it, it's super easy to get here. It's super simple to sell out of. The check-in process was easier than Port Canaveral, easier than Miami, so much easier than other ports that I've been to prior. It's super quick. Everyone here was very helpful. Everyone on the ship has been wonderful so far. The staff has went above and beyond um, on multiple accounts so far. We got Larry Thomas down here on deck eight. Larry and Elaine Thomas, I see them walking around. And uh, it's just been wonderful so far. It's, it's been absolutely incredible. And I look forward to the next nine days. Well, technically eight now since we're underway, but I look forward to the next group of days on everything that I could possibly bring y'all on the Sun Princess. Um, medallions are working phenomenal. It's one of the best forms of technology on any ship. I've been preaching that since they came out with it. So if you've never sailed with the medallion class technology before, you're definitely missing out. It's just like those Disney wearable bands that you would wear for Disney parks, but you pay for everything with your medallion. It opens your door. It does every single thing you need it to do on the ship. And there are a few cruise ports that accept medallion pay a few stores within cruise ports that accept medallion pay. So if you have an upcoming cruise and you're going to like Cozumel or anything like that, there's a bunch of stores within the port that accept your medallion as a form of payment and it just gets charged back to your onboard folio account within the cruise line. Um, other than that, lunch was great. Everything was good so far. Everything I had was hot, it was fresh. I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't have a blue iguana, but they got a taco place. And not only do they have a taco place, they got a shawarma place within the taco place. And not only do they just do tacos, they do burritos and they do nachos. And guess what? You can customize your nachos however you want. So any form of tacos, any form of nachos, any forms of burritos, any forms of shawarma, there's so many different things that you can get right there on the Lido deck. The pizza, the burgers, the dogs, the tacos, the ice cream, you can go crazy. You can eat whatever you want, whenever you want, and just have a good time, right? That's what we're all here for. We're all here for a good time. But I'm gonna tell you one thing you should definitely do. You should definitely get that Princess Premiere because them ice creams are $12 a piece. But with the Princess Premiere, that's included and it's unlimited. So if you wanna eat 10 ice creams a day, then you eat 10 ice creams a day. But look at that. We got Larry and Elaine right there, sitting there watching the ship set sail. I'm a little jealous. They had an epic trip getting here. They spent a long time in France and uh, a good time in Italy as well. So, but this is it. This is the wonderful, wonderful life of being on the beautiful Sun Princess. So before I sign off, before I say goodbye, make sure y'all smash that like button and make sure y'all got that notification bell turned on or you ain't gonna get notified when I'm putting out some new stuff. And uh, I'll leave you here with a view of this over the next few minutes. Any questions, follow them up. I'll get you some answers. But I'm just super stoked and very appreciative. Very appreciative of this life I'm able to live. Ship is full, Scott. 100% sailing full. So I think it's a little over 4,000 passengers. I can tell you right now, it doesn't feel that way. Smoking sections, there's a good thing. Deck eight, deck seven, deck 17. They're your smoking sections. So if any of you are smokers and you're coming on the ship and you wanna know where they're at, eight aft, seven, 17 midship, right by the bar, you'll have your smoking sections. All right, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all look at that for a few minutes. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, y'all stay naughty. Peace. <laughs>